hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Why Willie Show. What's going <laughs> and, on with you, Keisha? Uh, and I am not Willie Cologne. <laughs> but I am Akeisha Cologne, and he is... JJ, baby. What's going on, Akeisha? It's good to see you, God done it. Were you surprised to see me? I was surprised. I was looking for Big Willie. Where's Big Willie at? Listen, I am filling in today for my husband, Willie Cologne. He is like y'all pretend to be all the time. So busy. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. And then no, it's Father's Day weekend week. So oh, I can understand, you know, we, he got a lot yeah. going on because, you know, father's got to take care of a whole lot of things. And I know he's trying to take care of the business today. So I understand, Big Willie. I understand. Listen. You nor Willie, are y'all just not going to let Gucci and I forget what y'all did on Mother's Day. Yes. I mean, we said thank you, thank you, thank you. And listen, Father's Day actually starts next week. It's the Sunday. Sunday's the beginning of the week. So really, this ain't the week. That, like, this week it has nothing to do with Father's Day. Father's Day starts on Sunday going into next week. Oh, no. no I mean, y'all going to tell us it's over then. So me and Big Willie, we discussed <laughs> this. And Big Willie said it starts today. Monday and goes all the way through Sunday and halfway in through Monday. Well, listen, I feel like Father's Day started today. I actually feel like it started over the weekend because let me let you know, everybody out there, why Willie is not on the Why Willie show. Yeah, tell us, tell us. Yes, over the weekend, well, we knew that he was going to be out because he had some events today. He was going to be participating in the Kevin Lyles golf outing which is something he looks forward to every year. So he said, you know, babe, I'm going to get up after we drop the kids off at school. I'm going to Kevin Lyle's golf outing. And then after that, one of his best friends, Stephen Bowen, who played for your Cowboys, uh, but (laughs) Willie and Stephen went to college together. And tonight, Stephen is being inducted into their Hofstra Hall of Fame, the Hofstra University Sports Hall of Fame. So Willie was inducted last year. The year before that, their other best friend, Marcus Colston, was inducted. So now this is the last of the trio, and Stephen Bowen is getting inducted tonight. So Stephen I, Bowen, was, yes. I want to say congratulations straight out of yes, Cowboy we Nation. Do. Straight out of Cowboy Nation, baby. Congratulations to you, Stephen (laughs) Bowen. We are very, very proud of you. So anyway, I was knowing that I may have to step in, but I'm thinking he's going to be able to do everything he has to do and keep it moving. Well, over the weekend, Willie sprains his ankle. Hold on. You you better not be pushing my... Akeisha, come on now. You Man, know what? I, you know what? You doing this on purpose. You did that. No, I, I, no, no. How, how you the doing? way y'all act when something is happening with you, I would never do anything like that to uh to make him not be able to do what the hell I need him to do. Oh, okay, okay. So he sprains his ankle, but mind you, you know y'all don't listen and you don't want to <laughs> hear anything we're telling you when it comes to medical advice, life advice, any damn advice. So I tell him, I said, babe, do you know how you sprang? No, I mean, I, I may have just twisted. I was walking wrong on it. So I was like, well, why don't you prop it up on a pillow, put some ice on it? I don't have to do all that. So that was on Saturday. Yesterday, he's walking around here limping, barely could get out the bed. I said, babe, why don't you put it up? I want some ice. No, no, no. I need blood flow going through it. I need <laughs> blood to go through it. If I put ice on it, that's going to stop the blood from flowing. I said, all right, whatever. I called Dr. Joe. Dr. Joe's going to come over here and work on me. Well, Dr. Joe did come over here and work on him. And you know what Dr. Joe told him after he finished working on him? Uh, you should have listened to your wife. Yeah. Lift it, <laughs> elevate it, and put some damn yeah. ice on it. So, yeah. needless to say, he... Could not make it to the golf outing this morning. He was oh, absolutely sick my because he couldn't. He could not walk on it. If he had been icing it since, oh, actually that happened on Friday. If he had been icing it Saturday and Sunday, like we said, had Doctor Joe come work on it, got it loosened up. But you know what y'all's problem is, and I'm gonna tell you really what Willie Cologne's problem is. What's the problem, Akeisha? I told Willie when he reached forty. That everything changes. Your body changes. You we don't want to believe that. We, we feel like we're teenagers. Do. I know. And that's exactly what 
he thinks he is. He thinks he still has that 20, early 30-year-old body when he was out there on the field. Sweetheart, <laughs> you do not have that body. It's not recovering the way it used to. So I'm going to need you to act like you over 40 and uh, <laughs> ice them limbs, boy. <laughs> but, but, Akeisha, I feel sorry for my boy because he was looking real forward. Do you know how long Big Willie been talking about this golf tournament? Yeah. Well, I mean, we have our golf outing on the 24th, and we actually go away this Sunday on Father's Day. So I need him to get his stuff together because the way I've been waiting on him hand and foot today. Uh, Big Willie, it's Father's Day. Even if you feel uh, well, don't get down there and act like you feel bit well, Big Willie. It's, it's hurting every day, Big Willie. Remember that. It's hurting every day. You know what? And that's the problem <laughs> right there. If y'all would listen yeah, but I bet he's going to listen next time because he felt so bad. Oh, man, he was sitting in this house looking pitiful today. Ooh. So anyway, that's what's been going on with us. How was your weekend? What's been going on with you? Well, me and the So Gucci kind of took it easy this weekend. Well, I can't say we took it easy. I took it easy. But So Gucci had to babysit. That's right. She had oh, the grandchildren. She had, she had the grandchildren fried. She had the grandchildren sad, and she got out of it Sunday. And, and, and boy, we, we we did a little something that was real good. You know, we went to the movies and oh, we saw. Day -day. Oh my goodness! And let me tell you, we gonna get into it. Got done it up on the show, but I'm gonna tell you, bad boys, that's the one to see. We did. Oh. We went to the movies. We saw that, and man, when I tell you, it was some kind of good. Oh my goodness. Man, that's one of the it. best ones. I think that's the best one yet. It's been really? a long time since I actually just sat in a movie and just been entertained all the way through to when it go off, you still looking at the credits and everything that's going down <laughs> and you you hoping that it's a, 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 a part another part that it's going to show you got done it that's going to come up next year sometime. So and clearly you don't all watch, the way you watch Avengers it. movies or you don't watch them because that's what we do when you go watch the Avengers. You sit exactly. at the you very sit. end and wait yeah. to see what's coming up next on the next movie. So yeah, y'all need to see that. I know you guys are looking for Willie Colon and J.J. Williams, but you know what? I told J.J. to just move on out the way <laughs> because I needed my girl to jump in on this show. Yes, the better <laughs> half is here. Hey. <laughs> so just really quick, all the reason I, I did want you to come on is because last week I was listening to the guys when they were on and they were talking about the wrap up of our show, Bell Collective. And I just, you know, I wanted to make sure that they did not give anything away because we don't need any oh. calls or emails or letters or text messages from our bosses. But I wanted to get your opinion. Like now that we've wrapped up filming mm -hmm. and I remember we have a few things that we still have to do. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this season that we just shot? I mean, this season is going to be to me, it's going to be different from last season. Um, the the bells are really kind of stepping into what we do. You, you know, we're focusing more on our businesses, you know, mm -hmm. and I like that. Of course, there are going to be some catty stuff that goes on, but you're really going to actually find out who Sophia is. You're going to find out who Akeisha is. You, you're going to find out who Marie is. I mean, there's a whole different side to the bells that I think the audience is really going to find out in this season. This yeah. Season. And I, there are going to be a lot of surprises. Mm -hmm. And I think that you're going to find out things about people you thought you knew about them, yes. but then you realize that that's not who <laughs> they are or that's not what it is. Um, I, I, I just... You know, walking away from this season, normally when I get back to Jersey, I, you know, it takes me like a week to just get myself back in the routine, get the kids back in school, you know, just jump back into everything I'm doing here. Girl, it's really taking me some time to to just process everything and get back, get back in it because I'm like, wow. Yes. I, Do you not have that like I, I still have this feeling of like, oh, Wow. It, it was I it know. was a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it definitely I'm really was gonna a be lot. watching this show like <laughs> for the first like, time. Look. <laughs> like yes. And and I mean I mean really because I don't know what anybody else has going on. I don't know mm -hmm. what they were filming. I don't if I was not in the scene, 
I have no clue of what anybody else's story is. And, I, you know, I do. I like it like that. Mm-hmm. But the things I do know, I'm like, wow. I know. It, it, there's going to be a lot of surprises. Um, a lot of reveals. A lot of reveals. And, and I know for me, I kind of, you know, gave my authentic self, which I have been doing all season. But people are really going to see me in a, you know, in a different light, you know, I'm just yeah, hopefully real. they will. Hopefully, hopefully they will. You know, yeah. I just lay everything, you know, it, it's just. Well, honey, let me say this. Knowing you, you've been laying everything out since our first debut on season two. It's mm-hmm. just, you know, um, I think the fans of the show and people who watch the show, they're going to perceive you the way that they want to like they're they're gonna they're gonna put their own opinions on Mm -hmm. you and you know when you are favorites of one cast mate and that Mm -hmm. cast mate may have an issue with the other one you know you're gonna sort of follow whatever you know whatever's happening and you're gonna be loyal to that person but i do think um if people are open to really finding out who you are Mm -hmm. and um just seeing the true side to you If they're open to that, then, you know, you're giving them a really close, honest, raw look. And um, I'm going to enjoy watching it, you know, even being a part of it. But, you know, there are scenes that you and I have been talking and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I did this scene with this. I did this. (laughs) And I'm like, wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. You talked about that? Absolutely. um, yeah, so I'm I'm excited about it, and we're not gonna take over their whole show. But I was like, JJ, why not? You can change over. JJ name to uh, Sophia, so Gucci. You can change. You know what? Next Your time, that's exactly, change. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what we're gonna do. But I just wanted to get you in, friend. Thank you for coming Thank on you. the Why Willie Show. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we have to come here and take over their little show. Again. I know, girl. I got the mic, J. You excuse for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a little break. Y'all stay tuned and come back to the Why Willie Show. Welcome back to the Why Willie Show. I am Akisha Cologne, and he is JJ Baby. And like we got done to say, welcome back to the Why Willie Show with JJ Baby. Because it seemed like so Gucci was trying to take our goddamn place. You know, me and Willie have a hard time trying to keep this thing the way it is. But you know, for some reason, Akisha, you and so Gucci just like to take over things. Y'all just being the latest we that y'all always better. are. We just sprinkle ourselves, <laughs> just like we told the ladies on Bell Collective. Exactly. Ain't hey, hey, that son. <laughs> well, Big Willie, I'm trying to hold it down, Big Babe, because I know you ain't here, but God done, I'm doing the best I can, God done it, making sure that they don't take over. Listen, I just really wanted to get uh, So Gucci in because I know you and Willie discussed last week talking about Bell Collective and just how you guys walked away and what you felt about what this season is going to be bringing. So I, I, you know, I thought about that when I was watching y'all's podcast. Um, last week. And I said, you know what? Gucci and I have not had that conversation. And so I was telling her, I've had to take, usually it takes me about a week to get settled back into Jersey and pop back into everything I'm doing. It's This is going on week two. And I'm like, what? Like, (laughs) wow. (laughs) So I cannot wait until viewers see this new season oh, you're not gonna want to miss one mm-hmm. second of it and we're just gonna leave it right there we just telling y'all once we drop this premiere date y'all better be tuning in oh yes so, i'm gonna right. move on to these hot topics come on with it akisha what we got for the hot topic of the day well you know what i was on uh social media and i saw this headline and this post talking about this restaurant in missouri that has an age limit. And you know what? I didn't think anything was unusual about that because, you know, some restaurants now after a certain time, you have to be 21 to get in because they have bars and, you know, they're trying to get uh, an older crowd in. Exactly. You have to be 30 and over for women and 35 and over for men. Mm. What do you think about that? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, with everything going on in the world today, Akisha, you know, you when you're building a business, God done it, 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 it takes a lot of money that you yes, ain't indeed. trying to lose. And you ain't trying to, God done it, put a whole lot of money or something for for you to be closed, God done it, the next week or two or whatever. And it's like you don't put everything into this because uh, you got to look at it. People is trying to build a future for themselves for retirement. 
and you ain't trying to get down and do nothing to mess that up. So if you got to get a mature crowd in there, and those are your rules, to be honest with you, I don't see nothing wrong with it because how many times do we go out and we say we want to go around a sophisticated crowd. We want to be somewhere we ain't where we ain't got to worry about if a fight mm -hmm. or something going to break out or if if a shooting or something going to break out because somebody mad because somebody girlfriend in here with another girlfriend. And, you know, youngsters just don't take it as mature as our older adults does. You know, they react. They, they react right then and there. They don't think. And if this man got to do this for his establishment so he can feel safe about what he's doing for his future, his family to bring in the revenue for their retirement, I don't think it's a bad idea. Listen, I I mean, it made me question if I wanted to add it to mm. <laughs> to my own restaurant and bar. Uh, yes. Um, no, but seriously, I, I get it. And when I read the article and when I saw it on the news, they said they wanted a place where mature adults felt comfortable coming and having a safe and just a good time. Not worried about if something's going to pop off, not exactly. worrying about if, you know, somebody's going to uh, come in and just ruin their complete night. Like you said, because somebody stepped on their tennis shoes. So look, uh, you know, I, 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 I don't have anything. I don't see anything wrong with it. No, nope, I understand I mean, it. And you know, if 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 the the owners have the right to choose who can come and go, and if they're willing to take that risk, they feel that they don't need the dollar of the patron that's under the age of thirty, or exactly. under men under the age of thirty five. Listen, and then, and then it, might, it might it might it might just draw even more a bigger crowd to them because we exactly. are always looking for somewhere where we can go into uh that's nice where we can grab, where we can relax and yes. you, if that word get out there like that and i hear this first thing i'm like dang baby let's go over here and chill oh they yeah. got a little jazz going on tonight let's go mm -hmm. over here and kick it and i ain't got to worry about nothing i can feel comfortable and 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 and, and i feel like if the younger generations want to see what the food like tell the adults or their moms or their dads to bring them to go play home. <laughs> I'm just going to be <laughs> honest with that. you. Mama, bring me some oxtail. Can you bring me some oxtail, mom? And you know what? I noticed like even in our bar, like at a certain time, we can't even play a certain type of music because you know the energy of mm -hmm. the place is going to change. Yes. Like we didn't even, we decided not to bring hookah into our bar mm -hmm. because sometimes a certain crowd comes along with that. But so right. if I'm, I'm my big age at 46 and I want to smoke some hookah. I don't need to be worried about not feeling safe. Exactly. And so, like I said, I have yeah, no it problems You're with it. Maybe that's because I'm over that age. <laughs> it is. You got down sitting here. You getting right, Akeisha. Or somebody got down an old crowd smoking on the hookah. And somebody come over with a bottle. Bang! Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you don't bust the ball over your head now it's chaos and the whole goddamn thing the only thing you're doing is just trying to chill and relax so next topic is what you were talking about when we started the show and what that is, it, is the bad boys movie bad boys. I have not seen it yet but you and Gucci went out yesterday on a day date well they're saying right now that the box office I, this was Saturday that have reached over 104 million just in ticket sales alone yeah so if that was then you can imagine what it is now and I'm going to be honest with you uh, movies haven't really been doing good with the people with the turnouts and everything they're saying uh, from what I'm reading. As, yeah, because all as of the streaming and everything that we have now, the access to movies right on our at home. Exactly. And they're saying where the people going to show up based off what Will Smith actually did for slapping uh, Chris Rock. That's Chris I mean, that was going to be my next yeah. question after so you tell me how good is, it is. Yeah. So my thing is, man. Will Smith said he wanted to give something people something that they can relate to. So, you know, mm -hmm. like ride or die. You you know, mm -hmm. people, you mm -hmm. all we always be like, we were like Bunny and Clyde. I'm, yeah. I'm going to ride or die with you. So he wanted yeah. to send a message. And when I tell you, he wanted to send a message. I don't know who the hell was the biggest fool. Will Smith or Martin Lawrence. Because there was some damn fools on this goddamn show. Man, <laughs> I'm telling you. And, and I don't know if y'all ain't seen it or not. But boy, y'all need Boy, all I'm going to say, God done it, Akeisha, you in for a world of welcome because Reggie ain't the same Reggie. 
Yeah. Well, we, we're we not going to give any of it away now since it's only been out a weekend. We'll give people another week because I haven't yes. seen it either. Oh, and my And really goodness. hasn't seen it. So by next week when you guys come on, which we'll be filming from Anguilla, but uh, we should have seen it by then. And then y'all be able to really just jump into it because that's some um, I'm hearing. I mean, I have not heard any bad reviews. Only thing I think people are questioning, which is what I was going to ask you, is some people are saying, you know, I just can't support Will Smith after what he did to Chris Rock. They feel like, you know, he owes an apology to everybody, the African-American community, to uh, I guess maybe Chris Rock again. I'm not sure. But, you know, I've just been seeing little, you know, comments here and there talking about how people weren't going to support him because they're still upset about him slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars. So how do you feel about that? I'm going to be honest with you. I believe it was a big publicity stunt. So and you're saying know, you think that Chris Rock was in on it? I think all of them. Yeah, I think all of them was in on it. And from what I'm seeing with this show, Bad Boy, it ain't did number made the goddamn ticket skyrocket regardless, goddamn who say they ain't going to look at it or not. Them tickets wow. got done. Uh, 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 I, I mean, I know them. They, they going through the roof right now, and it ain't missed a beat. And I'm going to be honest with you. While I'm looking at the movie, I'm so into the movie, I ain't even thought about what Chris, uh, uh, Will Smith did to Chris Rock. All I know is that's I'm what, looking at a good I'm sure entertainment that's movie. Will Smith. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure and, that's and, what he's hoping that people yeah. are thinking. I'm going to say, I don't, I don't think that it was fake. I would hope that, you know, two <laughs> black males... Um, would not want to do something like that as violent and as disrespectful as slap one another on not just national television, on international television, on one of the biggest stages in their industry. I just would hope that they wouldn't, they wouldn't do that. So I don't think that it was staged, but I do think that Will Smith was in a place stuck in between a place of defending his wife and also knowing that Chris Rock is a comedian. He was also mm -hmm. a friend that it may not have, it wasn't, I don't think he meant any harm by what he was saying to Jada, but whatever was going on between Will and Jada, Will Smith felt the need to um, defend her or mm -hmm. stand up for her. And um, I just think that it was just a really bad situation and a bad representation of us as a community. Yeah. And um, I'm just glad that they he's settles been back to 20, back. Yeah. They, he's they settled back a hundred years. I mean, it, it, yeah, because uh, listen, when it first happened, I initially thought like, oh, is this fake? Is this, are they putting on? But when he didn't laugh and Chris Rock didn't laugh, and they were just, you know, all over the, like, you could tell. And you know what I really felt bad for? Even if you guys were doing that, I didn't like the fact that was the first time in history that there was a black producer over the Oscars. And it was a man that, uh, that I know, Will Packer, um, yeah. who is very well respected. Um, I've known him for some years. Everybody who knows him around him, this industry, the community was so excited and so proud of him. And, and this happened. yeah, and then that happened, uh, which, of course, he was able to recover. He didn't have any control over that. But it, there were so many things going on that night and so many special things happening that night. And all people are going to remember is that the night that's the night that Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. Yeah. So, you know, I'm happy that he's able to, you know, jump. Um, what do you call it? Like uh, sort Reverse of redeem it. himself. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, like you said, I have not heard one bad review yet about that movie. I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to seeing it. I'm definitely going to support it. One more headline before we go to break. OK. Did you see the viral video that was going around with the young lady graduating from high school? She, you know how we all know when you graduate from high school or graduate from college, you get your diploma and you go down the line and you shake everybody's hand from the principal to the vice principal to the uh, superintendent. You know, anybody who has a name and title in the school or in the school district, you go down, you shake their hands and then you walk back to your seat. Well, <laughs> young lady comes up. She receives her diploma. She's going down the line about to shake everybody's hand. 
And out of nowhere, her father jumps to the stage and the only black man that's standing on the stage, he gets him and pushes him out of the path of his daughter. And you can hear him in the background. Yes. She is not, he cannot touch my daughter. She cannot shake his hand. So immediately, what did we think? Oh, he's racist. racist. This is racist. Why did you don't want your daughter to touch a black man's hand? Well, it's been coming out that he said it had nothing to do with race. He said he didn't want her touching his hand because she had been bullied in school and the superintendent didn't do anything about it. That ain't got nothing to do with him. And I'm trying to figure out before it gets to the superintendent, don't you tell the teacher, the The teacher goes to the counselors, the counselors and the, 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 the uh, vice principal or assistant principal or then the principal. Yeah. You, you let her shake all their hands and Thank clearly you. they didn't do anything about it. If it got into the, if it got to the superintendent. So you're going to say it had nothing to do with race, but he's the only person that you went up there. You should have told her, get your diploma and walk straight to your seat. Bush. Why they is know. he the only person responsible for you getting nothing happening with you getting bullied? Now he got done just trying to have something to say about his actions, and it ain't adding up. It ain't making sense, guy. Oh, the math is not math. It's not math, and the math is not math. And you can hear the man clearly telling him, get your hands off me. Yes. Man, get your hands off me, man. That's what the black guy telling him. Get your yes. hands off me. You gonna, you just going to uh, just pick me out of, out of all the folks up here and going to kind of push me to the and side. embarrass your daughter. Yeah. Did you see the look? Oh, on my goodness. Face? She was just, she was disgusted. She looked, you know, she was embarrassed. She seemed devastated. And this is one of the happiest days of our lives. And we all remember our high school graduations. Mm -hmm. And this is what she's going to remember. Her dad jumping on stage and pushing, making it. So everything becomes about her dad. Yep. And she'll she'll always remember it. Her children. I mean, Mama, how was your graduation? How can you tell your grand your children? Which well, they don't see that. I mean, that's what I'm saying. And then you took the attention from those other graduates who yeah. had nothing to do with it. You everything, all the attention on that graduation and all these kids had accomplished and graduating from high school on their way to college or whatever they're going to do after high school. Now, all people are talking about is what this father did during their graduation. Can't you imagine how that house is at home? When ain't nobody around, the stuff he teaching up in there, the stuff he's saying up in that home, man, and that, that girl, think, and you wonder why the children are like they are. The adults are acting worse than got done it anybody out here. And if the adults are acting like that, and you got children that are, is being led by their adult parents who want to listen to that kind of nonsense, this that's the reason they're like they are. And the only thing he had to do was tell his daughter, don't shake his hand. Yeah. If, if, whether it was racism or you're saying it was because she was being bullied and he didn't do anything. She could have easily gone down that line and not shaken his hand. Just like you see kids all the time. They'll be mad at a principal, a teacher, and they'll come right past. They just had a, a video on. I saw it yesterday where a student came up and snatched a diploma right out the lady's hand and walked right onto her seat. So hmm. you could have told her. Don't look at him. Don't touch his hand. Keep it moving. But I think he was more fearful of he knew his daughter was going to do the right thing. And he didn't want to accept it. So he Mm -hmm. took matters into his own hand. Because sometimes you got certain children where parents will preach that kind of nonsense. And they don't want to go by. She probably dealing with a black boy anyway. And the daddy don't (laughs) like it. God darn it. He know it. He don't got on the butt. I don't know how many times because of that. And he knew no matter what. He said the daughter was going to shake that black man hand. Cause, so it's more to it than what we saw in that stage. The, the daughter like black ball. That's all it is. And the daddy can't handle it. He's embarrassed, got done it. He got done it, can't take it no goddamn more. And he did things out of his own goddamn will to embarrass his daughter because he felt like his daughter was embarrassing him because she liked black ball. Mm. Well, on that note, we're going to take another break. You are watching The Why Willie Show. Welcome back, everybody. You are looking at the Why Willie Show featuring 
JJ, baby, what you got going, Akisha? Listen, we are getting towards the end of my time here on the Wild Willie Show featuring JJ. I have enjoyed myself, but before we go, we have a segment that's coming up, and they said that they have a surprise guest moderator for us. Okay, uh, okay. Willie didn't tell me who it was. I thought maybe you knew who it was, uh-uh. but clearly you don't know who it is. So I am waiting for our producer to bring this surprise guest up. Oh! Oh, my goodness. No, they didn't. It oh, is Willie. Right. Hey, What's hey, going on, Billy Chum? I'm so happy to be here, and thank you, Willie, for the invite. I appreciate it. <laughs> How y'all doing? Which, as you can see, it's not Willie Cologne today. I know. It's like Keisha Ali Cologne. I know. And, um, hey, JJ. Yeah, no, I'm, What's I'm going on with you? Not much. It's so good to see y'all. You too. You too. Thank you so much for coming on here. So I'm guessing that you're going to be the moderator I'm going to be for the this moderator. game that we're supposed to play. Yes. So we're about to play a game called Guess Who. Okay. So you all are going to have to guess who I am talking about. I'm going to feed you a line from one of your castmates. One of, the, oh, one, Lord, from one of their Bethlehem. famous okay. quotes. you got to tell me who it is. All right, so listen, I'm going to hold it down for Willie. Come on, JJ, what's up? All right. They, I'm, listen, I'm ready. Willie Sean, I don't know if you know, but JJ and So Gucci are always trying to compete in some kind of game or something with Willie and me. And right now yeah. we one and one. They whooped our ass in bowling <laughs> yeah. and we whooped their ass in pickleball. So she had the instructor helping her. That wasn't no fair game. It don't matter tour. who I had helping, I beat them. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Well, so now these are some really good. Go. These are some really good questions, and these are really good quotes. Let's go. Okay. 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 The first one is, and number one. I'm not going to sit here and be talking to no extra. Oh, that's so Gucci, baby. JJ got that first one. <laughs> JJ got it. He got it. He got that first one. You want to put me in a box and control me? You want me to be Latrice. a puppet? Latrice. No, no, that's wrong. Latisha. That's wrong. Oh, damn. You were, you were warm. You were so warm. Latisha. Well, finish the quote. You want to put me in a box and control me. You want me to be your Muppet. Oh, so Joshy. Nope. Josh. God dang. You were oh, so close, did. Akisha. I, Cliff. Cliff. Uh, Cliff. Cliff told Latrice that when they were ar- arguing about being equals. Number three. We at war and it's time to make a peace Honey, so welcome to the peace treaty. I am your ambassador. Letitia. Oh, Letitia. Okay, that's two one. That's it. You got it. Right? <laughs> yeah. So Letitia, Letitia told the girls that when she was trying to bring peace amongst the bells. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm an OG. I'm a bell. Clear. <laughs> Marie. It was Marie. Hey, Let true. me finish. It you was Marie. Ain't lying. I'm an OG. You sure ain't lying. I'm a bear. Okay, nobody exclude my role. Too? My story too powerful uh, to exclude me. You better get your weight up. You know who this, she told that too. This was Marie talking to Tambra at the Lupus Gala. The Tambra. Okay. At the okay. Lupus Gala. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 All right. Here we go. Next. Let's face it. Nobody wants to work a freaking nine to five. Latrice. 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 That, I got it. That was a Letitia's business entrepreneur brunch. Okay. I'm trying my best to keep my peace on ice and in my pants. Tamara. Glenn. I'm a, Glenn. Glenn. <laughs> yeah. In oh, his pants, Lakeisha. In his pants. <laughs> oh, his penis. I thought he said no, his No, I said his oh. piece. His piece. But JJ got it. He was talking to Cliff when he became sexually frustrated. Oh, I child. Yeah, I wouldn't have known that. I have never heard of me being a liar from any of my friends in all of my years Tamra. of living. Tambra. That's Tambra. <laughs> I can hear, I can hear That's Tambra. saying that now. <laughs> Tambra after Marie says some of the women think she's not being 100% truthful. You know, y'all, that was y'all's get together. That was season two. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we went four three. Mm-hmm. Sweetheart, if I'm at this table, then make sure your goddamn plates are clean. 
I Keisha Cologne, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, who know better than her? That, that, that's her from the dump. <laughs> four, four. Four, See, four. That lets you know I only pay attention to what I say. Uh, <laughs> Akeisha to Letitia at dinner after plate gate at the brunch. This is a tiebreaker. Come here and give me some sugar. I'm here sweet and sexy for you. So Gucci. Willie. What? JJ. 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 So I Gucci. Heard, no. I was saying you I'm, I'm talking this. about so but Gucci. No, That's what I was saying. No, no it's you. That wasn't the question. The question I is. I was who, saying I was doing that to so Gucci. That's what I was saying. You were going too much. Yeah, that ain't how the game go. I won. <laughs> I keep you won the game. Yeah, that was good. awesome. Well, That's Milton, right. we That's thank right. you so much for joining us on the show. Please yes. let everybody know where they can find you and all your social media handles. Um, you can find me at Millie Chun TV on YouTube, Millie Chun 08, and Millie Chun on TikTok, and Millie Chun on Instagram. I think that's it. Millie Chun on Twitter, X. But I live on YouTube and I, li- I live on YouTube and TikTok. Yes, if you want to be in the know, if you want to know what's going on in Huntsville, D.C., Detroit, Real Housewives of Atlanta, in Jackson, Mississippi with Bell Collective, if you want to know what's going on on Potomac, New Jersey. I know. I'm I'm your girl. She is your girl. And she is an author. I am currently reading her Rose in the Wind right now. It is a book of uh, of a series. And uh, yes, y'all need to check her out. Yes, she is my third that bitch. Little... She ain't no extra. No, definitely not an extra. <laughs> I can be extra, but not one. <laughs> so oh yes, my and my God. third book will be out September the first. Yes, yes, yes. So thank so you so thank much, you all John, so for much. joining, joining thank you, us. Thank you, and get I... ready for the new season, because boy, yeah, it's about so... to be a blast. Oh, I'm Millie, so ready. Listen, I'm so excited. Something. Yeah, get ready we were talking about it earlier in the show we're all just like wow um for those who love bell collective i think it's gonna give you exactly what you've been looking for i'm excited Um, i think it's just gonna leave you wanting more Um, i'm excited and it's gonna reveal some things and then it's it's gonna leave you like speechless yeah speechless yeah we're um, speechless yeah, we're all excited about this season. And uh, well, we're excited. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I have enjoyed my time on the Why Willie Show. I thank JJ for having me. I thank my husband for uh, asking me to come in and host while he is away. It's been amazing. And this is the Why Willie Show, guys. And he hey, is JJ, baby. See you next week. <laughs>